Okay, Houston, right. we've had a problem here. This is Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey, Houston, we don't have a problem. Today we're going to talk about the concept called dynamics. So what dynamics is, it is when you take a mix of forces, which we've been studying here lately, and kinematics. So we've studied kinematics, we've studied forces, and we're going to merge the two together. Now, if you think about forces, what we've really learned so far with Newton's second law is acceleration is force over mass, right? In kinematics, if you recall, we usually start with, so we've got an x1, we've got x2, v1, v2, a, time. We do all the equations when we're solving kinematics equations. Now, one thing that's important to understand is the concept of forces only has acceleration in there. Notice the acceleration is common to both. So I have an object. Um, so, for example, if the velocity is constant, what force is acting on it? All right, well, actually, let's, let's do an example. Let's call this example one. What is the force on a 10 kilogram object moving at negative 8 meters per second and accelerating at 6 meters per second? It's actually moving with a velocity. This is equal to the velocity. Now, force. Force is, you know, A over M, where F equals MA, so I can say F equals MA. What do you notice? There's no velocity in this equation. So this is simply going to be 10 times the acceleration, which is 6, or 60 newtons. Here's the weird thing. There's no net force on an object that's moving uh, at a constant velocity. So if I have an object, you know, going down the road, so to speak, and it has a velocity of, you know, you know, well, negative 8, well, we'll say 8, 8 meters per second, there is no net force acting on that. Uh, but, if I was to plug this into the kinematics, I could then, the V does matter, right? This is V1 or whatever. And so the, it's where you're going to mix sort of these two sets of equations. But the key thing that you need to understand when you do these questions is that velocity doesn't have to do with force, okay? And the questions can get tricky because what you're going to be doing is you're going to basically doing kinematics equations and you're going to throw in the force part. Um, uh, yeah, well, let's do an example. 50 kilogram object with a net force of negative 50 newtons and a velocity of 2 meters per second. How far has it traveled in 8 seconds? What I'm going to do is because velocity, I need to get acceleration. And acceleration, we've got a net force. We've got a net force. An object accelerates. So if you recall, A is F over M. Let's find this answer. The acceleration will be F, which is negative 50, over the mass, 50 kilograms. So the acceleration is negative 1 meter per second squared. Okay, so now we're going to do a kinematics equation, right? So we've got x2, we don't know, x1 is starting at, we'll say, object at zero. That makes sense, right? And then we've got velocity 1. Now we do know that, right? What is the velocity? 2 meters per second. Velocity 2 we don't know, but we do know acceleration, which is negative 1 meters per second. So this object is slowing down, right? Um, and then time, we knew, was 8 seconds. So we then are going to look at our kinematics equations, and we're going to try and solve for how far. Far is x, or essentially x2. So we're going to use the equation, if you recall, x2 is x1 plus v1t plus 1 half at squared. So x2 is equal to 0 plus v1 is 2 times 8 seconds, right, plus 1 half times negative 1 times 8 squared. And I get x2 to equal to negative 16 meters. So that means you're starting at 0. Now it's moving in the positive direction at 2 meters per second. Because it's slowing down, it slows down, stops, and then starts, accelerates, and comes back. So, you know, if it starts, you know, here at x equal to 0, it's a number line, 0, it's probably going to go here and boom, and it's going to end up at negative 16 over here. So, I mean, again, it's, it's a kinematics problem, right? 
We have a kinematics problem, but we're adding the force, and the big idea here is acceleration is force over mass. And the questions can get tricky. This is an easy one. But again, it's, and you've got to think through the negatives and the positive signs, and you're going to discover there'll be issues when you're doing the problems uh, for homework and in class. But uh, it's, it's, it's really basically this, a simple idea, putting it all together, because what's going to happen, these things are going to get jumbled in your mind probably. You've got all the equations. I, I just used, you know, we call it equation one. Um, there's, you know, we could use the other, I said, what's the final velocity, V2? Um, you know, you, if I ask that question, you know, do V2 squared equals V1 squared plus 2AD, right? So at, the, at, at this point, you know, the D is negative 16, this is negative 1, V1 was 2, boom, and you could solve for what is the final velocity, and you could figure that out. I mean, those are the kinds of questions you'll be asked. Hey, Houston, we don't have a problem. We'll see you in class.